here my website is one month old and it is getting nearly 39 or 30 to 40 views per day and it got adsense approved so here today i'm going to show you how to get adsense approval on this site and the most important three things that you need to keep in mind i will make it short and i will get to the point very fast so here first thing is that people always say you need to get a lot of traffic or a lot of domain need be a lot of years old or you can't just get approval for the new sites very fast but today i'm showing the actual proof that it is not true and i'm going to highlight the most important three things that you need to have in your site to get adsense approval so here the first thing is that you need to have content in your blog that people will come visit and read so in here there are blog posts so i will say at least you need 20 of them and make sure they contain enough content not just 300 or 100 or at least 500 words should be there in a each article so here i have in my blog nearly 30 articles posted when i got approved so that is the first thing then the second thing is it for the beginners it's better always to have uh, some necessary pages when you are applying for the adsense so you can get approval without this also but for newcomers for google to know that you are a legit website so include this page first page is privacy policy second page is term and condition and third page is about and last page is contact us put up privacy policy on the your website you can actually generate this there are a lot of tools around the web so i will show you one tool to get here hpa tools from HPA tools, you can go to web tool and you can see in here they have privacy policy generator. So in here you can fill out these fields and generate a privacy policy for your website. And you can just copy and paste them in here and design the way you want. And term and concern also similar in here you can find that tool also. The another page is the about page. In about page you can give a little description about the site and about what the content about the site is so here i have displayed some amounts of the data so this page is important and the last page is the contact page so the people who are visiting your website can contact you in the in the contact pages i have included a form but i don't think it is necessary you can just put your email address and some other contacts like messenger or viber and you can give them that so that they can contact you so those are the necessary pages and the last one i'm going to suggest you is the google search console we are applying for google adsense which is a google product and search console is the webmaster for the google search engine so go to google search console and sign up with your email and add your web address to here and they will crawl your site with the this site map so and here you can actually see a lot of data regarding how many clicks you are getting from the google search you will know if your audience is becoming larger by getting organic traffic or direct traffic so those things you can see in here and what you can Im improve in your website also will be seen here so as I promised, I have made this short and these three things are the most important three things that I would like to highlight. So once again, I would like to remind you that you are visitors like views and visitors things doesn't matter that much when it comes to AdSense. But when it comes to getting huge revenue from the AdSense, of course, you need like th thousand impressions per day on your website. But to get approval, you don't need that. And in here, you can see it is just one month. When I got approved on 26th October, and so that means like in one month, eight or nine days, I got approved my website. And this is a new domain. I started everything from scratch. And for like first 10 days, I was building this website. After 10 days only, I put the contents on my website and i have only 30 posts 
and these posts have a lot of contents like near hundred words, not that much. And some of my other contents at the bottom, these things will most likely contain two hundred or three hundred word. But for you, I am encouraging you to put at least hundred words in your articles. So thank you for watching this video. And make sure to key, hit the subscribe button if you don't already have subscribed to my channel. Thank you.